world's most hated promoter back at you again to talk about investing in your employees and making sure employees have adequate training. So you might look at employees, oh, this is somebody who just works for me, somebody I'm paying an hourly salary. But what you don't know is an employee is a micro version of you. One of your employees is a spokesperson for your brand. So the reason why you want to continually, continually invest in them through training and different kind of things like that is simply because your employee nine times out of 10 is gonna be the person who people who come and purchase your product or purchase your service see more. A lot of times you might be doing back office stuff, you might be busy, you might be out brokering different kind of deals and stuff, but the actual customers will interact with your employees the most. So what we do is we have social media classes that we do. So the first three weeks of bringing somebody in, we might do a social media class and teach the employees exactly what type of image we want them to portray. So in, in turn, we can get those type of customers back in exchange for that as well too. So we do like a social media class where we're teaching them all the different tricks and how to bring people out to the club and different kind of stuff like that. Then also, one of the things we do to make these classes fun is each time after the class, we'll take them out you know, for kind of like fun outing. What this also do is builds camaraderie and teamwork within your customers as well too. Teamwork is so important. I don't think I need to just dive into how important teamwork is, but teamwork really makes the dream work. Then we'll take about three weeks off, let them relax, kind of let them test out a lot of those different strategies and stuff that we've taught them. And then immediately after that, next three weeks after that, then three weeks after that, what we'll do is we'll go into maybe a sales training and kind of diversify the class. So you're not giving them the same information, but you're giving them various different informations as well too. And it's just so important to train these employees because in your mind, you have a vision that you have set forth for your company. In your mind, you know how you like things done. In your mind, you may have a bunch of knowledge. You may really, really know a bunch about whatever your field is. But you have to think about an employee coming in needs to be educated and they need a way to get some of that knowledge. It's very easy for you to probably do some stuff. And if all of your employees were exactly like you, I'm pretty sure you can have a million dollar business. But that's very unrealistic. You might bring in somebody who doesn't know anything about your product at all and just throwing them in the line, then it makes it look bad on your part and also makes the employee look bad as well too. This is a situation that we had when we first started out, we were training bottle girls. So bottle girls, we would basically just come and be like, bring out the bottles. And it sounds very, very simple, but it's something that also requires a lot of skill and technique. So what we learned while we were doing this was there were different types of bottles, what kind of bottles, the different types of liquors. And we even had a situation where a girl, a lady, we had a situation where a lady had requested a scotch and this girl brought out Crown Royal. Now, if you're a drinker, you know that Crown Royal is a whiskey and scotch is a totally different type of liquor. They have two totally different tastes and give you two totally different effects. And this lady was pissed. So at that point, we realized that we had to train each one of those girls in the knowledge of the different liquors, how much the different prices were, and then also different things like upselling them to whichever the new popular liquor was. Ciroc always releases new liquors and it always goes crazy. You have different top tier level liquors like Don Julio 1942, like Ace of Spades, like Don Perignon, that people will want to buy. But if our waitresses were not informed that we had this, if they weren't informed on the product, if they weren't informed that this are things that we could sell, they wouldn't sell it. People would just buy Hennessy or people would just buy Ciroc. But these small things are small adjustments that we made that help us increase our profits tenfold.